Hello readers. Today we are working on the reading strategy. Watch out for unusual words. A lot of the times when we use this strategy, we see words like this. I'm, can't, we're. These are called contractions. So it's two words that have been squished together. And when that happens, sometimes letters pop out. So for example, I'm, if you see this apostrophe M, you know that it's I am. If it's if you see an N and then an apostrophe T, it's usually for the word not. So can't is actually cannot. If you see an apostrophe RE, it's for the word R. The word here is we're. When you use contractions, it's just a shorter way of saying words, and that's all it is. Some other unusual words that you might come and find are compound words. So that's two words that are put together. No letters are missing. For example, here we have into. In and to are put together. Here we have outside. Out and side are put together. Okay, so let's take a look. Even though these words, I'm, can't, we're, if you read them this way, they don't change the meaning of what you're saying. It's just a little bit longer. And sometimes when you're reading and your teacher might be giving you a score for how well you read, you might lose points for this. And as good readers, we always want to read our best. Okay, so let's give it a try. Penny the Rude Penguin. Let's be on the lookout for some of these unusual words, okay? Penny the penguin thought watching others fall was funny. Penny passed her friend Peter and whacked him with her wing. Smack, Peter spun around and fell on the ice. Penny thought he looked so funny. Oops, said Penny. <gasps> Here, I'll look. What's that word? I'm, right? It's the shorter way of saying I am. I'm sorry, Penny. Mm. Oh, remember when we have the N and an apostrophe T, it's the word not. Didn't, didn't. Penny didn't really mean it though. So on this page, we have I'm and didn't. And if you remember, as we've read this book a few times now, this part repeats a lot. So let's be experts the next time we read it. Penny passed Peter and his family and bumped them. Crash, everyone fell down on the ice. Penny thought they looked so funny. Here's that part now. Oops, Penny said, I'm sorry. Penny didn't really mean it though. Penny and Peter were sliding on their bellies and Penny slid into Peter. Poof, Peter went into the snow. Penny thought he looked so funny. Here's that part again. Oops, Penny said, I'm sorry. Penny didn't really mean it though. One day, Penny stood at the top of the ice slide. Peter bumped into her. Swoosh, Penny went down the slide and into the ocean. She didn't think it was funny. Oops, said Peter, I'm sorry. He really did mean it. Penny thought about when she had whacked, bumped, and slid into Peter. Oh, look, here's an unusual word. Remember, when it's N apostrophe T, it's the word not. It wasn't funny anymore. No, I'm sorry, Penny said. This time, she really did mean it. Readers, in this book, there was a lot of those unusual words called contractions. And again, those are just two words squished together. And when that happens, some letters pop out. And that's where they put in the apostrophe. And again, if you were to read it like this, if you were to say, I am instead of I'm, it doesn't really change the meaning. But sometimes when you're getting graded on how well you read, you might lose a point for that. And remember, as good readers, we always want to try our best and read our best. So when you come to a word you don't know today, if it's one of these unusual words, these contractions, or it's one of these compound words, two words put together, try your best to figure them out. Okay, all right, off you go.